Okay, so Bridget Zilger, Zeigler, possibly, if I say it that way. Bridget Zeigler and Christian Zeigler. Bridget Zeigler is the head of the, or co-founder of the Moms for Liberty. Or the Holes with Casseroles, as, <laughs> as it was said in the live chat. Um, the Bridget Zeigler and Christian Zeigler saga has an interesting twist here. Allegedly, she's being accused, or they're being accused. This is all alleged, mind you. Well, he's being accused for real, for real. But this story part is alleged. Because they're very anti-LGBT and what is being lofted at them right now is that Bridget Zeigler and Christian Zeigler have been having a threesome with a outside woman. So she has been in a, and this has been going on for some time, mind you, apparently. So this woman, Bridget Zeigler, has brought another woman into her bedroom with her husband, and there you go. Now, again, allegedly. But this unnamed woman is accusing Christian Zeigler of sexual assault and rape. So that's why now we have more of a complication on our hands. This is not some alleged woman who is just made up. This is a person who's actually accusing him of abuse. Because this person's saying that while Bridget and him were not together, he was coming to my house by himself. And then that's when he would abuse the woman. And so... I want to know how all of that's going to work, if that's even true. Because, mind you, this is all an accusation, and allegedly. But is there a third woman in their relationship that Christian Zeigler has been abusing? I said third woman, third person. Uh, well... There's your lover's card. You know what, too. Um, the lover's card is currently, this is why astrology and tarot is not my favorite thing. This used to be Taurus. That used to be its corresponding zodiacal thing. Now it's Gemini. But it used to be Taurus. It also had very various iterations in its art. The Rider Waite is just the most popular. It's not the first, though. There's always been multiple people on the Lover's Cart. The reason it's Gemini now is because Arthur Waite changed it and put two people on the card and took the third person and made it an angel. So that it corresponded with the twins, Gemini. But... There were three people on the card, one man, two women. And that man had a choice between the more homely woman or the more pretty woman, so vice and virtue. And then there were other cards that had the Cupid on it that would sort of match people together. And so, anyway, it's interesting that comes up. It comes at the... Anyway, so we start with the Six of Pentacles, sharing time, money, information. And the King of Wands. Hmm. Okay. The High Priestess. Okay. The Hermit. The Emperor. Three of Wands. Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Tower. So, I would not say abuse, but definitely that this situation exists. That there is another person in their relationship, which... Again, we have to say, every time, um, I don't care. 
personally. It's your house, it's your relationship. Do what you want to do. The reason it becomes focused is because you're a hypocrite. And then you go out in public and then you say anti this and anti that, but you're doing all of it. And so that's when all of us get to point and wag the finger. That's why this comes up at all. And so here you have the Six of Pentacles and the King of Wands. There is sharing time, money, or information. So this is some sort of payout. This person, and it's not an always money or whatever, but this person is getting something from him. I don't get abuse. I don't get anything of that nature. Um, the Six of Cups, but there is no innocence there. So there, this situation exists, but it is not abuse. High Priestess and the Emperor, there are more, if you ask me, allegedly. It's not just this one woman, but he has a lot of secrets there when it comes to giving out. So there also may be some people he's paying as well. So he, there may be a prostitute or two or something of that nature. But yeah, it, this, this, this definitely exists. Um, I don't know if that woman works for them or not, but there's possibly someone that does work there and they're getting a kickback too. This may be blackmail because they may know and are being paid to keep silent. The Page of Swords is lies and gossip, so I don't think that she's being abused. And then there's the tower. This is just being exposed because it's forced exposure. Somebody is, is throwing this out there on purpose trying to destroy the foundation of all this but yes i think there is a third person i don't think it's abuse but i think there is definitely a third person so a fourth fifth and sixth who knows moms for liberty huh i guess